Hey everyone, I hope you are all staying safe and you're not too bored, stuck at home. Today is Saturday and I thought I'd have a bit of like a self-care pampering morning. I haven't done any of my skincare yet, I've literally just got out of the shower. Uh, I'll show you actually what shower gel I've been using. It's the L'Occitane shower oil. It is so, so beautiful. So that's what I've been using every single morning. It just leaves the skin feeling so, so soft. Uh, and I'm going to do a bit of a face mask before I do my skincare. I haven't been doing face masks as much as I would have liked to. You'd think like being stuck inside in self-isolation, we would have all the time to just like do face masks and do our nails all the time. But for whatever reason, I just, I feel like I haven't been keeping up with that. So today is like my day to just really look after myself and try, I'm not going to worry today. I'm feeling very positive. I'm not feeling too anxious and today I'm not going to let myself like read the news too much because I feel like that's when you can start getting a bit too stressed. I'm going to show you my skincare that's in the cupboard literally where you're sat right now. You're surrounded by all of my skincare right now. So I'm going to show you that that I've been using a lot uh, and this is what I brought back from India with me so it was everything that I had taken there so it's kind of like my essentials. Um, but the face mask that I'm going to be using is actually right over here. So this, oh, that's true. I literally just caught your head poking in. This is my skincare. You've probably seen most of this already. So we've got the Aurelia Miracle Cleanser. This is the Sanoflor Botanical Essence, Dr. Dennis Gross, SPF 50. Then one of my favorites, Tata Harper um, Hyaluronic Gel Moisturizer. There's a few other bits and bobs that I'm sure you have noticed. This is some secret products here that I have also been using. But it's actually this one that I am going to be using today. I have been loving the Summer Fridays uh, jet lag mask. So that's the mask that I was using in India. But today I am going to be using the L'Occitane Invigorating Face and Eye Mask. I actually haven't used this yet. It's brand new, first time opening it. So it says that this is made with freshly picked Provence melon. <gasps> wow, that smells so fresh. That is delicious. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a really gorgeous consistency. And it smells amazing. Mmm, smells like summer. So I'm just going to smooth that all over my face. And while I have this face mask on, should I do my nails? Or I might do nails in a bit. I'm actually going to use a dry brush. Um, this is something that I've been doing nearly every morning. It's dry brushing really good for circulation i have quite bad circulation in my hands and finger my <laughs> hands and fingers my fingers and toes so dry brushing is meant to help that um it's a very like traditional method of detoxing the body actually okay face mask is on and i'm just going to dry brush and then i'm using a Kama Ayurveda organic oil. This is the organic Moringa oil and I bought this when I was in Mumbai. It's a beautiful, beautiful store full of these stunning natural products. So this is the dry brush and all I do is just basically brush in an upward motion. So the idea is you start at your feet and the soles of your feet and then just brush upwards all the way up your body towards your heart. So once you've done both legs, you can then move up the torso, do the arms, including the palms and the backs of the hands, all the way up the body, all towards your heart. And then I use the oil afterwards. It's a really lovely way to start the day. You can just massage the whole body again, starting from the feet and the legs and in slow upward motions and you do just instantly feel relaxed. My skin has been very, very dry recently so the oil has really helped. I've been using the oil at night as well before bed, mainly on my legs. Like a nice foot and leg massage before you go to sleep is amazing. Okay, so the mask has been on for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to use a muslin cloth rinsed under warm water to remove that. Feels nice to do a face mask again. It's so important to still look after ourselves. 
in a way, I don't know if you have found this as well, but staying inside, you, you can kind of become just a little less proactive, a little less motivated, and that's absolutely fine. We don't need to feel guilty about that. But one thing I think we really shouldn't forget is to actually just look after ourselves. And even if it's once a week, at the weekend, even though, who even knows when it's the weekend these days? <laughs> just spending a little time looking after yourself, even if it's a bath or a face mask or yoga. Oh, skin feels so good. <laughs> oh, I missed that after mask feeling, post mask feeling. Right, for eye cream, I'm using the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Gel Cream for Eyes. This is amazing stuff. I've been using this pretty much twice a day since January or Christmas and it's still going strong. I don't know where this stuff goes. It just, it lasts a long time. So I'm just gently dabbing that under the eyes and then just a little bit over the eyelids, whatever's left. That just helps me feel so much more awake once I use this, it just, it's very refreshing. I'm keeping things super simple and just using my Tata Harper Hyaluronic Gel Moisturiser. This is just my go-to moisturiser, it's so beautiful. And I think that's all I'm going to do for the skin. I haven't been wearing makeup and my skin has honestly never felt better. And I've also reduced what I'm using on my skin in terms of skincare. So I think before you can quite easily get stuck in a trap of just like layering and layering skincare on top of skincare. Whereas sometimes just, this has made me realize just going back to basics can be amazing for the skin. Okay, so that's moisturizer done. And one thing that I never ever skip is my L'Occitane Delicious Multi Balm. This stuff is amazing. It just keeps the lips feeling so, so soft and moisturized. This is pretty much empty, but I do have another one. I'm just trying to use all of this one up before. It just smells so good. So that is literally skincare done. That is the easiest thing ever. Oh, I might put a bit of hair oil in actually, why not? I'm doing a bit of a self-care thing anyway, aren't I? So this is the By Sarah Organic Hair Oil. The ingredients are so simple. She puts all of the list of ingredients right on the front. And this one is organic argan oil, sea buckthorn and vitamin E. That is it. They're really beautiful products, super natural, super organic. You really don't need a lot of this. I literally do like two drops is enough. Rub it between hands, make sure it's nice and warm. And then I just focus on the, the ends of the hair. This will just keep it feeling super nourished and moisturized. Like my skin has been quite dry, my hair has also been quite dry. I don't really know why. It might be the sudden change in climates from India back to the UK where it's a lot colder in the UK. Um, so it might have something to do with that. Also, just maybe my vata is out of balance. So um, if you're watching my Ayurvedic series, you'll know what I mean with that. When your vata is too high, it can make your skin very dry, hair very dry. So I think that's probably also what's going on right now. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get dressed. Skincare's all done. And I'm going to paint my nails. I'm excited to paint my nails. Haven't had them done in so long. Time for nails. I've got my little nail bag here. I've pulled out everything that I need. So I'm going to paint my toes as well as my fingers. I did actually paint my toes red a couple of weeks ago, but they were so chipped. So I've just taken that all off. So they're completely bare now. And I've got the Nails Ink Green Fingers Biosourced. This is like a treatment, so it's a base coat. So I've been using this one, uh, yeah, just as a base coat to treat the nails, make sure they're as strong as possible, and I'm going to do that on my toes and fingers. For the colour, I'm using the Cure Bazaar, what colour is this in? Lipstick. This is a really beautiful brand, I don't even know if that's focusing. Can you see? But I love this colour, it's very summery, and the sun's out today, so why not? And for my fingers, I love a nude colour on my fingers, so this is the Nails Ink Gel Effect, all fired up. This is like just my go-to nudie pink colour, it's like a ballet pink. And then, I don't know if I'll do top coat, yeah, I'll do top coat, I've got time, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> this is also by Cure Bazaar Paris, and this is the Final Touch top coat, there we go completely clear. Right, so I always use these guys 
for my toes just to separate the toes and make sure nothing smudges because I do get very impatient with waiting for nails to dry and they always smudge so at least having these prevents that as much as possible. Kind of why I do like going to nail salons every now and again because you're forced to just sit still whereas at home I'm like okay I'm bored now I just want to get up and about. Just going to file them down slightly. I feel like yoga really helps with poses for doing the nails. <laughs> I'm going to add the base coat. This is the Nails Ink base coat. I am going to try and make this a regular thing of hampering myself or just self-care at least once a week. I think weekends are good because I am still working Monday to Friday. So if I could do this every Saturday or Sunday, and film it, let you know what products I'm using. I can feature different project products in each one because I do actually have a few products here that I really want to start using and just trying trying out. I think now is a really good time when you're stuck inside to just discover new brands or, you know, try out that moisturiser or nail varnish that you've had and haven't quite got, gotten around to using. So I might start doing that. Let me know if you'd like to see that. Okay, while toes dry, I'm going to move on to fingers. My nails have got so long recently. Yeah, they've just got really out of hand. I haven't cut them in two weeks or a week and a half. They do grow very, very quickly, um, but this is next level, really. I much prefer my nails to be short, and I actually read something. I don't know if this is true, but... I mean, it kind of makes sense. Having shorter nails is best right now with this current situation because it means you don't get anything, you know, like stuck in your nails, whatever. You, it's easier to be clean with short nails. But I've just always preferred having short nails anyway. I feel like I can do more. So I'm going to cut them right down, file them, and then put the same base coat onto my nails. <laughs> I've shaped my nails now and I basically do a squoval shape so somewhere between square and oval I just like the round the edges being rounded because then they don't catch on anything they tend to last longer if that makes sense so I'm just adding the base coat now done now I haven't done the top coat because I need to let them dry 100% and like I said I get very restless and I don't know if I can go through another coat right now so I'm going to finish off of the coat a bit later on when I can be bothered and Joey's just making some food up there so I'm gonna go and join him and help out and I hope you enjoyed this little self-care in self-isolation video all those little beauty things that we can be doing right now. Stay safe everyone! Mm -hmm.